Hey, what's up, guys? Range of the Abyss is right around the corner, and it's bringing a ton of new support for several cool decks, and one of the most exciting being Centurion. However, the biggest issue with Rage of the Abyss set is the introduction of a card similar to Maxi called Malcharmy Floros. This card is going to be a staple in every competitive deck moving forward and will cause significant problems for many players who like to play combo decks. The meta will need to adapt with players opting for decks that don't play directly into Maltrami and giving your opponent multiple draws. One of the best choices in this upcoming meta is to play pure Centurion, which only summons one card from the extra deck, giving your opponent just a single draw. Centurion may appear straightforward on the surface, but it's a variety of combos and deck variations that can be utilized effectively. In this video, I'll show you the best way to summon the new Synchro 8, Centurion Primus, and how to use this Synchro to dismantle your opponent's board, going second while baiting out multiple interactions. So to get forward, the best engine that I found, and the coolest one, is the Super Heavy Samurai Engine. And I'll show you a sample combo of what this card, paired with the new Synchro, can do in a go second situation. Let's assume that the opponent has two cards you want to destroy. And let's start the combo. You'll activate Wakushi, it's a special. Scale in Big Benkei, then we'll use Big Benkei to search Soul Piercer. Here we'll have to use the normal summon of Soul Piercer and go into the new Synchro 8, which will be chain blocked. Here we have Soul Piercer as Chain Link 1 to search another super heavy card. Primera Primus will search us the Emblema, which is a starter for the Centurion combo. And it can also pop a card your opponent controls. And Chain Link 3, with Chain Blocks Primus, is going to be Wakushi to Pendulum Scale. That way, we'll get another Pendulum Summon. Here in this scenario, we targeted Primus in one of their cards that we wanted to destroy. I would suggest... Uh, destroying back row with Primus, because you already have Legatia to destroy monsters. But it's up to you, in however the scenario is, in which card you want to destroy. And what we're searching with Soul Pierce is Motorbike. Now we can use Motorbike to search Scales, which will give us another Synchro, before even starting our Centurion combo. We'll Pendulum Motor Scales, Scales Warrior Born Motorbike, changes level to 4, and we'll do the simple Excel line. But here, instead of going for a Synchro 10, we will go for a Synchro 12 by increasing Motorbike's level to 4. And now we'll summon Legatia to pop a monster they control. Here we have dealt with a lot of interactions your opponent might have without even starting the Centurion combo itself. And now we'll go ahead and start that combo with Emblema of Oath. There is multiple ways to do it. You can either set the field spell, or you could set, in this scenario, we'll have to set Trudea, which does not need a normal summon. If you set Primera, the combo will differ a bit. So, in this uh, situation, we chose the field spell route. Discard a card, place Trudea. And remember, whichever route you go for, you have to be careful of the lock. Centurion lock. And that's why we went for the field spell route. So now we have Trudea. Special summon her, make her a level 8. Then use her effect to place her in Primera. Use Primera to summon, use her effect to search, wake up Centurion. And remember, 
using the super heavy engine and the two synchros, one of which is Primus and Legatia. We hopefully have used up a lot of our opponent's interaction, and we could do this un un uninterrupted. Now we'll activate Wake Up to summon a level 8 token. Go into Crimson, and then go into Cosmic Blazar Dragon. Now we could use Wake Up to send a trap, giving us another extender. Over here we can enter the battle phase. Before, this deck could not OTK or uh, have enough uh, attack to kill the opponent. However, if we manage to clear the opponent's field, we have these two cards. We can attack for 35, attack for 4000, and then use Phalanx to reborn our Synchro and deal the finishing blow. This is what the combo has used. Wake up, Phalanx, and a couple of super heavy cards with the Centurion cards being last. And if that still wasn't enough, you could have left Primus in the graveyard and just left Phalanx to use on the following turn, and you would have still had another Synchro on the following turn. Remember, this is usually backed up by a lot of hand traps. That's why I feel like the Super Heavy Engine is going to be very handy going forward. Unfortunately, the Super Heavy slightly plays into Fluaros, if that's an issue for you. You can play Pure, that's why I've talked about it earlier. But this adds so much more power to the deck. And if you look at it, we gave our opponent four draws, assuming we went first and did this combo. However, we are going second with this combo. If the opponent activate for us, you could just do the standard Centurion combo, and you don't have to do all this. Here is a sample deck list of what the combo that I did earlier, which plays three motorbike, three wakashi, one big ben, one soul piercer, and one scales. With it for the centurion cards I play win wake up. Here I cut down on the centurion starters because motorbike and wakashi they're all one card starters. And I want to limit my normal summons. So here we have four normal summons. With uh, two Primera. Two Tridea. In here, this is uh, very cool. If you draw multiple starters, and you already have everything, you can always use Emblema, set Atri, special Atri, and get a free draw on your turn and the opponent's turn. Here I play one Emmeth, and this is how to do it. You would summon it on your turn, get a free draw. On your opponent's turn, you would summon Emmeth by placing back Atri, then summon Atri again to draw another card. I play three Stand Up, one card starter, one Phalanx. Remember, Wake Up and Phalanx is a great combo to have together, which plays around Nibiru most of the times. Play uh, three Emblem Oath, and the rest is all hand traps. Here I play 19. You could do 17, but I like to have more bestials, so I played up to 19 hand traps. Play three Nibiru, three Droll, three Ash, three Mourner, three Ghost Ogre, and four bestials. If you want to cut down on this, you could just cut down the two Druish Worm and make it a clean 40. However, I've been having a lot of success with the two extra Druish Worms because of the U Bells and uh, Fiendsmith. Here for the extra deck, play one Artemis into SP, 
This is uh, good in case you go second in the opponent D barrier. You you could uh, go into this play one Typhon. This is usually never summoned, and it's just a backup whenever it comes up. Play one Tilton Entrainment. This also can help you make a level 12 Synchro. Play one Excel Synchron. These two here could be flexed flex spots for anything. I would even consider cutting these two to play an Al Almirage in another SP if you can afford it. Play one Chaos Angel because it combos extremely well with the uh, a Druish Worm and Primera, and it's very hard for the opponent to out. Play one Dispatter because you can easily make it with either Atri or your Bestials. One Auxilla because you only need this uh, going first. And uh, two Legatias, which is very good for the grind game. Here, this is where it's important. A lot of the time, I will just keep playing, even though it exceeds five summon, to get my Cosmic Blazer on turn one. So I would play into Nibiru, and if the opponent decides to nib while I have Crimson Dragon, I do not want to be in a situation where I do not have a second one. And that's why I play two. Play two Cosmic Blazars. This can be three Blazars, but I like Supernovas because in some uh, rogue matchups, Supernova can destroy a lot of decks. However, you have to be careful to not summon this by itself without an Omni Negate because your opponent could just triple tag take it. For the side deck, it's up to your preference, but here I play three Fenrir, three Evenly Match, two Lightning Storm. One Harpy Feather Duster, one Pot of Prosperity, one Terraforming, and one Counter Trap with three Deck Lockdown for going first. These are my options for going first. And I would just sign out a couple of hand traps. For going second, you can side out the whole Super Heavy Engine. Or what I like to do is side out three Wakaoshi, two Big Ben, and one Soul Piercer, leaving three Motorbike with one scale because if you draw motorbike go in second you can search your scale and if the opponent has two monsters or more you can special summon scale reborn the motorbike and go into excel which leads to a synchro 12 or a synchro 10 up to your preference and this also a good option for making a primus Got, it's not here, but you should be playing Primus. There's an issue with this thing, but this uh, Tilton Entrainment should be Primus. Again, going second, you want to take out your Nibiru because you're going to play evenly with Fenrir and Line and Storm. And this should have covered all of it. If you guys have suggestions on how to improve this deck or how to best utilize Primus, leave them in the comments below. I've also done a couple of combos where uh, I used Primus with a small punk engine that uses e -Telly without using the normal summon to summon Primus. That's also a very good option, but I'm kind of preferring the super heavy route. Because you can play way more hand traps. If you, if you guys found this helpful, please leave a like or consider subscribing. I'll see you next time. Later, guys.